Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Alcet Haru, and I'm here today with another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. Okay, so um, if you haven't already, please hit that red button and smack the bell. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that's very important. Yesterday, I talked about compassion, empathy for another person who's wilding out. And I realized after doing the videos, I had to talk to a couple of clients, talk to a couple of students. And after I was done, I realized that I had to go back and talk about something else that is in connection. A couple of something else's that are in connection. This is the first part. Um, many of you that are watching me and myself in the past are struggling with what I call self-compassion. So it's gonna be really difficult for you to have compassion and empathy for other people, okay? Now this isn't true for everybody because some people have compassion for other people more so than themselves, which is really difficult energy. And then others just don't have it at all <laughs> for themselves or others. So it can be and or in this situation. But I want to talk about people who lack self-compassion. I have a friend. My friend is beautiful. She's not just outwardly beautiful. She's inwardly beautiful. I always call her an angel. Because that's how she acts. I mean, she like helps me with everything, you know, swoops in there, make sure I'm okay. You know, when I'm, you know, frazzled, scared, doubtful, fearful, frustrated, whatever, you know, she runs right in there. Um, she has beautiful black hair. She looks amazing in everything that she wears. She has the cutest fucking accent. You know, she is just adorable. Okay. And doesn't even know it like is constantly constantly pointing out her flaws constantly all the time uh picking at herself what's not right what's not perfect about her blah 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 it drives me crazy because she doesn't see any of her light which is the part of her that is the most <laughs> Evident, she sees the 3% that she calls flaws and not the 97% that's brilliant and amazing. Okay? Drives me crazy. I'm always trying to get her to look at, you know, self-love things or do Reiki or anything. <laughs> anything. Um, she doesn't even watch my videos. I try to get her to watch the videos and to, you know, consider the things I talk about. And it just drives me crazy. But I already know from doing this work that that is a decision that she has to make for herself. I have tried to help countless people heal themselves. And some of them do and some of them don't. And the ones that don't, it's because they choose not to put in the effort to do so. Every time, because all of the ones that put in the consistent effort, generally within 90 days, within 90 days of daily consistent effort, they come back to me and say, I feel better. It's working, you know? And I know that she needs this. I know it can be helpful, but I know it has to be her decision. And so I see this with her. I see this with myself. I see this with other people. I used to be so down on myself about the bad decisions that I made. Why did you date him or her? You know, I was so down on myself about Voldemort for years. Like, how could you fall for that con man? You know, um, I've been so down on myself about all kinds of mistakes that I've made. 
And I hear this from people that are writing me and they're talking to me and they're telling me about all the awful things they've done or I can't love myself because I was a drug addict. I can't love myself because I was a prostitute. I can't love myself because I used to dance. I can't love myself because I lost my kids. They have all these reasons to not give themselves compassion, to not love themselves to be angry at themselves to hold grudges against yourself like what are you doing to yourself you oh my god like you're you are abusing yourself more than anybody else possibly could what are you saying to yourself People are yelling at themselves talking to down to themselves like are you serious I remember when um uh, back in the day when I would get mad, I'd be like, oh my God, what did you do? And I will why the hell did you do that? I would say that to myself, you know? And now I still be like, oh, why did you do that? Okay, now we got to fix it. You know, I've, I've retrained myself to say, okay, let's fix it. To be solution oriented and not to just sit there and berate myself. Like, I can't believe you did this. You're so stupid. Da -da 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 -da. And that's what I used to do to myself in my head. And so many people are doing that to themselves. You have to practice self-compassion. You have to be compassionate and forgiving with yourself first. If you're trying to heal or do any kind of spiritual work or move to the next level, that's the first part. You can't do anything with anybody else, forgiving them, working with them, anything until you love yourself. Till you forgive yourself, till you have compassion with yourself. You can't even draw to you a good lover a lot of times because there's going to be something wrong with the vibration. It might work later, but at that time it's a problem. It's hard to do that when you don't love yourself. You keep drawing jerks to you who don't love you either or people who do love you but are unavailable in some kind of way. It's always something going on with the vibration. When you don't love yourself, you, you mess up your own ability to manifest other people who are loving towards you. So let's just get down to the nitty gritty, okay? You have to have compassion with yourself before you'll be able to empathize with anyone. I don't care what you did. I don't care. I don't care if you lost your kids. I don't care if you danced. I don't care if you are a prostitute. I don't care if you're currently tooting coke. I don't care what you did. Especially if it's in the past. If it's in the present tense, you know what you should and should not do. You know what is and is not right for you. So if it's in the present tense, get to a space of doing what's right for you. But the bottom line is the same. When you're finished with the behavior, you have to forgive yourself. You have to deal with the consequences first, obviously, and then you have to forgive yourself. You don't berate yourself and hold grudges against yourself for something that you did, mistakes that you made. Any mistakes that you made 18 and up, you know, legal age, whatever your legal age is, 17 and up, whatever mistakes that you chose to make were part of your soul's journey, part of your soul's evolution. You made those mistakes to have those experiences to learn the lessons that you got from the experience. So get the lesson, which is when you deal with the consequences. So you deal with the consequences, you get the lesson, you move on. But you shouldn't hold it against yourself because you got pregnant at 14. Because you dropped out of high school at 16. Because you were addicted to crack cocaine for five or six years. You cannot do that to yourself. You have to forgive yourself. You have to give yourself some compassion. You did what you did, but you don't have to punish yourself for it for the rest of your life. You have to forgive yourself and let it go. Once you've dealt with the consequences, because we all going to pay the piper. <laughs> whatever you did, whatever I did, I paid the piper. Your karma is going to come around. Once you've dealt with the consequence, forgive yourself, move on. It's going to be almost impossible for us to treat each other with more compassion when we're holding against ourselves unforgiveness, uncompassion. 
I don't know if uncompassion is a word. Non-compassion. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do that. And I realized from reading some of the letters that I got over the past, you know, 24 hours, that for a lot of people, that's where it starts. It begins with them not being able to empathize with themselves. And some of this is just you talking to yourself and saying, you know what? We made a mistake. We did the best we could to make amends. Now we have to forgive this and move on. A lot of it is talking to yourself. Your soul is no more imperfect because you made a mistake. Because you made a difficult decision. Because you did something you're not proud of. Your soul is no, is still perfect. Your experience was probably very difficult. You went through some heartache. You had a hard time. Some things went wrong. But if you take the lesson and move on, get, that's the goodness from everything. Whenever we do something that we shouldn't have done or whenever we do something that we're not proud of, there's always some goodness in it. And the goodness in it is the lesson we get from it. The productive energy we get from it as we overcome it. You know? That's the energy. So you were a drug addict for five years. You made a lot of mistakes. You hurt a lot of people. Now you're clean. And you're counseling others that are coming through the 12-step the, the program or whatever program they're in and trying to get clean. So now you're their counselor. So you went through what you went through and now you can help them. That's the good part. That's the diamond in it. So don't hold shame that you went through the fire. Don't hold shame that you went through the struggle. But hold joy that now you're able to help someone else. Forgive yourself. Because that's what it was for. That's what the whole journey was for in the first place. Your soul set it up that way so that you could learn those lessons and do those things. You wouldn't be who you are without those flaws, without those mistakes. You would be somebody totally different. Okay? So I want you guys to think about that because I get a lot of people writing to me who are self-hating. And you have to stop that. Because not only is it not good for you, it keeps you from being able to love others fully. Even people that you do love. If you're self-hating, you're drawing to you situations that you need not draw to you. You can draw much better, much more happier <laughs> situations to you if you give yourself love, understanding, and compassion. So before you even fix your lips to say, how can I be empathetic with another person? How can I be loving towards another person? Before you even think that thought, think, how can I treat myself better? How can I love myself? What does myself need? Does myself need space? Does myself need nature? Does myself need therapy? Does myself need to get out of this relationship? Does myself need to treat myself better? Does myself need to do something about this depression, this anxiety? Okay? Does myself need um, a new surrounding? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you need. Ask yourself, what do you need from you? Ask yourself, what compassion are you not giving yourself? And what areas? And stop. Stop being hurtful towards yourself. Work on it. It's not going to happen overnight. Start to talk to yourself more gently. Start to talk to yourself more kindly. Start to say to yourself, okay, I made this mistake. I'm going to fix it and move on. And stay away from the panic and the fear that comes when you do something or when something goes wrong or when you got to fix a fire or a situation. 
breathe, relax, and say, I got this. None of us get out of this world perfect. We don't get to live in it perfect. <laughs> we don't come in it perfect. We don't get to go out of it perfect. We don't get perfection in this lifetime. It's not, we don't get it. The supreme being, I've said it before, is the only being that's perfect. The rest of us do the best we can. So forgive yourself for the times when you didn't do the best you could and change that. Forgive it and heal it and change it. Now you know better. So you know better, do better. Okay? I don't care what you did. I don't care who you hurt. I don't care what mistake you made. It's okay. Forgive yourself. It's all right. You made mistakes. Yeah. We all do. It's called being human. We all do. Even the people that's talking shit about your mistake got their own mistakes. We all do. So don't treat yourself like that. Forgive yourself. Release. Move on. It's okay. See you later.